This next few uh, rest of the story videos talking about our history and the uh, importance of the different aspects of our history. We're going to talk about signature programs. I'm going to give you the big picture today and then we'll roll them out. What we do in, in reading and in math and in language arts and so on. What I want to do today is just give you some idea why, why we do these. We call them signature programs, although we're looking for a new name that would better describe what they are. Um, so, we're, so we start the school. It's a tiny school and uh, woefully funded. Uh, but we had the aspiration that our kids and the children who came to Birchwood would have the best intellectual opportunities, academic opportunities that you could find anywhere. And they would have to be outside of the classroom in, in programs that we discovered um, or in programs that we developed. So that even though we're, we're this tiny little place with um, uh, borrowed furniture and borrowed everything, uh, we could prepare the opportunities uh, that our children would get an exceptional intellectual education. Now, we, don't, we couldn't get a pool and a football stadium and things like that, but there were other places in the city where you could get good sports training, you could get good theater training, you could get good art training. But the intellectual training that you find in school, not so much. And that's what we wanted to provide. So it began a quest. Uh, where can we find these kind of extraordinary academic opportunities? Or what could we develop? Uh, to, to turn them into something so that um, in history or in math or in reading, we would open doors for kids of which there was no ceiling for them to achieve or understand what great pieces of work could be done in writing or in the study of history. Um, so we began to assemble that. Some of it we found, some of it that uh, we invented on our own. Um, and so things like junior great books, you know, that's a part of the great books program that came out of the, uh, the University of Chicago in the 1940s. Outstanding opportunities. Avid Readers Club, where children who wanted to could read um, high school level classic novels. Um, yeah, in, we, we do all kinds of academic competitions, uh, whether they're in math or in science, a lot in writing, so kids get a chance to um, participate in scholastic art and writing competition, uh, the Cleveland Law Essay Competition. Um, we develop programs for creative problem solving, today more or less called uh, design thinking, beginning in the first and second grade, where they begin to go through the process, the six stages of how to think creatively, how to be a creative problem solver. And all the way up to what becomes future problem solving in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, uh, and just as an example, last year, last few years, we had students make it all the way to the international level. They were participating in this future thinking, problem solving, uh, with kids from all over the world, the top students from all over the world. And you probably know in our competitions in math, children can compete at a regional level, they can compete at a state level, they can compete at a national level. Okay, that's the ceiling, but here's the beauty. We have arranged these types of programs so that every child participates based on their level. So the extent to which they can have opportunities for their intellectual development belongs to all the kids, not just to a few. So even in the competitions, there's levels of competition. Everybody can join in and learn how to research, learn how to problem solve, um, learn how to write fantastic essays, all because we give them the opportunity through the signature programs. It not only gives a high ceiling, but it's available to all. Like the poetry show, it's a very simple thing. But when you think about it, it's profound. Starting in the first grade, every child at Birchwood gets an opportunity to uh, memorize poetry, recite poetry in front of 100, 200 people. And the impact is huge. We've had many students come back and I'll go into detail when week by week we describe these um, uh, signature programs and the effect on kids, they would come back of what Poetry Show did for them going forth into high school and then into college. Um, and I would like just for a moment to boast because although many schools might ha participate in History Day or in Math Counts or they might even do junior grade books, but I, to this day, I do not know of any school that offers 
all of these, in all the subjects. That is extraordinary. And I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of the staff that's put all this together. And I hope I'm giving this, this presentation on the video so your eyes would be open and say, oh, oh my goodness, all those are available. And so particularly if you're in the younger grades, um, to, to hearken to this sort of call to what is available. Because even though young children don't necessarily participate that much, some of the, uh, the signature programs they do, but everything that's done in the early childhood um, wing all the way up through fifth grade is to prepare them to take advantage of all these opportunities for their, their intellectual development. Um, so uh, you, you can understand why this has, they're so important. And, and I look forward to giving this particular video just to convey to our community, wow, what opportunities we give to all of our children and what ceilings we can introduce them to, what doorways we can open through these wonderful signature programs.